What's up, sons? It's Blind Run with Son of a Tech once again, and today we're going to be talking about the GPU shortage from the perspective of a GPU miner and whether or not you should be purchasing GPUs at least at retail and then, of course, possibly at scalper prices, what my reasoning behind all of this is and what I'm seeing in the market as of today, which is going to be September 1st, 2021, right after a word from our sponsor. Today's sponsor is Crypto.com. Crypto.com is my go-to centralized exchange for liquidating my crypto assets. With their Crypto.com Visa debit card, I can load up my mined Ethereum to pay for power and other operating costs quickly while earning up to 8% cash back. In addition to the Visa debit card, there are additional fiat options including wire transfers to easily receive your profits. Crypto.com also offers additional services including trading and even staking to earn additional revenue revenue on your investments. Join 10 million plus users buying and selling 100 plus cryptocurrencies at true cost by using my affiliate link in the description for a $25 funding bonus or enter referral code SOAT at sign up for the same bonus. Remember, cryptocurrency investment comes with significant risks, so do your own research. Welcome back. So if you guys are not aware, essentially what we have going on is a chip shortage within, you know, the global economy. This is due to, of course, the effects of the P word or the current situation we're experiencing with illness, right? Along with, of course, damages in the past to different uh, chip foundries, including earthquakes and fires, etc. Now, there are new foundries being worked on, but to my knowledge at this point, we will not see them being ready for production until 2023. So we are currently going to be taking a look at this situation without that in place. Now, from a report on INF news here, which we will hop into, we see that NVIDIA predicts that severe GPU shortage will continue until 2021. As well as reported on hot hardware here, it does appear that there was basically some closed forums that discussed the production of specifically the RTX 3060 and RTX 3060 Ti. These basically talking about it dropping by at least 50% throughout 2022, at least as it is compared to the numbers that were shipped in the first couple weeks of August. So definitely go check out this article and what does that tell us about the market as a whole, right? Well, it does appear that we will be experiencing an even tighter constraint on the supply of GPUs and the demand doesn't seem to be going down. Of course, with the merge for Ethereum, the thought was that the demand for the GPUs within the cryptocurrency mining market would go down. But even if it goes down by 50%, it doesn't appear that that is going to be compensated with. And that's because primarily the 3060 and the 3060 Ti have been some of the most popular GPUs for cryptocurrency mining. Of course, not talking about the LHR models, which is the light hash rate models. However, with current or new basically mining software coming out is getting unlocked more and more. If you guys haven't been aware of NB Miner 39.2 is out now and it has increased the hash rate or the light hash rate mode all the way up to 69% from 68% and you can manually set to 70 which is apparently very promising on most light hash rate cards. I've seen this in my experience as well. To give you guys an example, if you're going to be taking a look at an RTX 3080 Ti which is light hash rate at this time which I've purchased two of, they will easily with NB Miner get up to 86 mega hash a second which is not too shabby when you consider that on initial launch the RTX 3080 without any overclocks was hitting about that 82 to 90 mega hash a second of course getting closer to that 100 mega hash a second with overclocks but we're not too far off of course with the light hash rate models on Ethereum being competitive so I would assume that that means that the demand within the mining market for the light hash rate card starts to drive up now why do we talk about all of this 
Well, essentially as a GPU miner, you're probably wondering, should you be purchasing more GPUs or waiting for the market to settle? Well, if it's true that we are going to see a 50% reduction in the RTX 3060 and 3060 Ti's, more than likely that is going to translate across the GPU market as a whole. And what that means is that essentially what we are in is an odd position where paying current scalper prices may become once again the new norm. You see, previously when the GPU shortage initially started and the cryptocurrency mining boom started again here for the you know fourth time now at this point, what we saw was an increase in the demand of the GPUs and the scalper prices starting to increase. And what ended up happening is the GPU shortage got so bad that the new retail prices that we are seeing even at places like Micro Center started being above that of what the scalper prices were previously. So if the shortage basically repeats itself this year as it did last year, we may see new retail prices being that of what the current scalper prices are or even above that. And because we won't have any more additional production until 2023, it basically means that the value of these GPUs should maintain through 2022. And it may not be a bad idea as a GPU miner to not only invest in the GPUs to go ahead and continue to mine cryptocurrency, but of course, because you will be able to resell them at a decent price to recover some of your costs in the case that the merge does happen within Q1 of 2022. Now, the other option here is that you will be, other, be able to possibly mine other cryptocurrencies, including Ravencoin, Ergo, and so on, depending on post-merge how much of the hash rate increases the difficulty of said coins. If you're not familiar, difficulty basically is the metric by which you measure how, how difficult or how hard it is to mine any particular cryptocurrency with the amount of hash rate that is on the network. And when we see, of course, something like a huge merge happening and Ethereum no longer being mineable, it's more than likely going to shift that hash power to another coin. Of course, there's other factors here at play, including the ASICs that are specifically built for Ethereum that may be, you know, making up a large portion of the current hash power. But we do know that a lot of people are GPU mining Ethereum as it sits. So should you be buying graphics cards? Well, as I'm seeing it right now, it does appear that it makes sense to purchase graphics cards even at scalper prices Basically, if you are hedging a bet that this reduction in price is going to repeat the hike in retail prices that happened previously, and that's a very real possibility. So right now, as you can see, I think if you guys go take a look at Amazon, for example, we'll just pop over here, you'll see that the kind of scalper prices on Amazon is around $800 to $900 for an RTX 3060. And when I was initially getting into cryptocurrency mining for the second time and very, very quickly trying to scale up my farm, this was, you know, at this point a couple years ago, or actually, I guess, end of 2020, so about a year ago right we started scaling the farm back up at that time the roi for an rx 5700 that was basically from a you know a bulk purchaser for about 350 a pop was going to be around 220 days so what's the roi on an rtx 3060 at full hashing power well, that's a good question. If we took a look at, you know, pulling up the calculator here, and then we took a look at the mining calculator from miner stat for the RTX 3060, you're looking at $4 a day after power consumption at 10 cents a kilowatt hour at a current price of, let's say, $150, and we divide that by four, we have an ROI of 212 days. So am I scared of scalper prices at this point? Am I comfortable with that same ROI that I was comfortable with last year? 
And the answer to that right now as it sits in September is yes, because if we take a look at the Bitcoin super cycle, we should see a pump up through February and then a dive back down. Now we've talked about this market possibly shifting and being different than the previous BTC or Bitcoin super cycles, purely based off of the current inflation rate globally as well as just the pandemic in general, influencing people to move more and more into cryptocurrency to protect their investments in whatever kind of value they still hold, you know, whether that's for saving up for retirement or whatever it may be. That along with, of course, large institutional investors, as well as pretty hefty regulation policies coming into play means that cryptocurrency does appear to be here to stay more more apparently than it was previously right so the general public is interested in cryptocurrency to a greater degree than they have been ever in the past and that includes large institutional investors the barrier to entry is getting very difficult though and even if you want to take a look at ASIC miners, it's getting to the point to where the barrier to entry for those have increased significantly to the point to where your only real options are GPUs to a certain extent. We do know that of course the L7 is coming out here soon for Dogecoin mining and those are selling for about $20,000 a piece. So investing into GPUs is a little bit easier than investing into something like an ASIC. So am I investing in more GPUs at the current scalper costs? Well, Yes and no. See, the point of trying to basically run a cryptocurrency mining business is to get the hardware as cheap as possible and then to mine on it and get some sort of return on investment. The larger the farm gets, the easier the returns are because you're basically just taking that money and reinvesting it. So yes, I'm buying new GPUs. Am I paying scalper prices? In a lot of cases, yes, I am paying definitely new retail prices for sure, which are, as I stated or have mentioned, previous scalper prices effectively at this point. I'm making sure to go to my micro centers and wait in line every 30 days. I am making sure to scan and get into new egg shuffles as much as possible. And I don't shy away from $1,500 3080 TIs. What I do shy away from, of course, right now are some of the light hash rate models that are on the lower end, like the 3060s and 3060 TIs that are running anywhere from 800 for the 3060s to, you know, 1200 for the 3060 TIs. But their ROI is where I would frankly feel pretty comfortable at that 220 days where you have 10 months. And part of that is also because I don't think that the merge personally is going to be ready to go right away in Q1 of 2022. I think there's plenty more time there. We already saw it pretty much officially get pushed back in the, in the dev call two weeks ago from any possibility of Q4 of this year to definitely getting pushed out to Q1 of next year. I also am prepared to mine things like Ravencoin, which is currently one of the next most profitable coins, as well as Ergo. What's going to be interesting, of course, here is going to be specific GPUs and their efficiency on different algorithms. So the 3000 series more than likely being more efficient on things like Cor Cortex and Conflux than the AMD cards, which are typically going to be more profitable on like Ravencoin or more efficient on Ravencoin. So there's a lot of things and moving pieces to be taking a look at here. Should you buy GPUs at the current scalper costs is probably why you came to look and watch this video. And for the reasoning that I've stated, it's not necessarily a terrible idea. And that's because essentially you do have an extra year here due to the shortage to basically re 
re-up and get your money back out of those GPUs if mining becomes unprofitable because of the shortage. So you do have almost this odd buffer just due to the current circumstances that we are in that actually makes it a little bit safer than previous Bitcoin super cycles in general. So that 220 days isn't near as scary this time in this cycle as it was necessarily in the previous cycle, whether or not you were prepared for it previously or not, right? Because most of us probably weren't. I know I wasn't. Uh, well, I'm prepared this time, but I'm also seeing some different things going on, like I said, with the global economy, with the shortages, that is kind of shifting my perspective on what I'm thinking. Personally, I'm going to be scaling up the farm as much as possible, trying to get the best deals on GPUs that I can, and not shying away necessarily from current scalper prices if I just need to fill up the amount of power that I have currently available to me. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Are you buying GPUs? If you are, are you only purchasing GPUs through things like Newegg Shuffle and Micro Center every 30 days? Are you purchasing GPUs using some sort of bot program like, of course, people have been doing with Nike shoes, etc. in the past? I know a lot of people have been talking about that. We're going to be talking about that more on this channel. Or are you also buying in some cases at scalper prices? And what is your reasoning for basically these decisions? Basically, what I'm wondering is how can we basically communicate as a, as a community to determine what is the best for everybody as a whole, especially as it pertains to cryptocurrency mining. Thanks for watching. Be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe down below. We have a new mining frame that we're going to get together and reviewed this week, as well as the 1660 Ti. So if you're interested in that, be sure to hit the notification bell so you're notified when those videos go live. And I will see you next Tuesday. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to see more. Also, you can check out this playlist for more content talking about cryptocurrency.